This is the best Notion Notes template, mainly because it's within the Notion app system, which is the best Notion template that I've ever made. You can get it right now by going to riceproductive.com slash Notion templates, click that link down below, and with it, you'll get access to every template I'll ever make, as well as all of the amazing goodness that is my course, Mastering Notion. If you'd rather go on Skillshare and watch the course, you can to support the channel, or if you know you use that link, you get one free month and you can essentially watch the course and just have the free trial end. Make sure to check out all that stuff and then come right back to this video on how to make a nice meeting and notes database. So first and foremost, what we're gonna do, is we're gonna go to new template here, and this is gonna be the views, meetings, and notes. I like this icon right here, which I think is called compose. So we're gonna copy the synced block for the navigation. Nestle this guy right in here. I'm gonna call this meetings and notes desktop. Make sure it's a full width page, and then do a call to and do this. So now, we did have in the back end, I just went and did control left click, go to the structure page. We did have a notes database already in there that we're gonna use. So these are the core databases that we're using that go into the views. So let's copy the link to this guy. And I'm also gonna do another call to within it. So bear with me, we're gonna paste this out and then we're gonna nestle this. There's gonna be some room over here for uh, essentially what are gonna be some pinned notes. So what I like to have here is a calendar view and we're gonna go quickly into the database creation and make the properties because it is a pretty simple database. So we're gonna have date, created time, a select property that shows type. So with the type one, you can essentially pick anything. I mean, we can just call it stand up, weekly sync, uh, ad hoc. It's all you really need, just a couple of these examples, right? And then you're just gonna add a bunch of properties that sort of connect things together. So a created by one, so forever made the notes if it's in a team situation, a participants meeting, so person, and then type participants. A URL for the conference call link, and then a URL for the event link, which all this can be essentially used to set up a uh, Google Calendar sync if you know what you're doing in make.com. And then a checkbox property that I'm gonna call pinned. And then lastly, I'm gonna make a relation property to two different databases here. So we're gonna do projects, DB, NAS, there we go. We're gonna do meetings and notes and then projects. I usually like to have these show as minimal, but it's up to you. All right, so this is pretty much everything that's within the, the properties of the database. So now I'm gonna do a calendar by date, so the date maybe of the meeting, and then we're gonna do a calendar by created. I duplicated that view. And now within layout, you can select calendar by, show it by, created time. So it's based off of when it's made, not like the date, because I can drag this around in the date property. Let's say I make something right now, it'll show up for today, because it's the created time today for this one. All right, now if you wanna add some aesthetics, you can do something like this, do slash call out, make a little section over here, call this calendar, a little fancy one, huh? I'm gonna do a calendar, then over here, I'm gonna actually duplicate this, maybe add a little bit more room, call this pinned notes, and then icon for a little pin. Then I'm gonna copy this, and you guessed it, I'm changing it into a list view, because for some reason I love list views. The world does not know why. I'm gonna call this my pin notes. So just remember, for any of these, Always possible that you can set this up as a my view by having a created by contains me or the actual participants contains me. So just remember that that's a thing. Cause I'm gonna do that right now by doing this. We're gonna do created by, make an advanced filter, contains me, and then do a group, turn it into a group, or participants contains me. And the pinned property is checked off. So essentially once I make a pinned property like this, new note, pin this, it'll be uh, right here. I like to have this view for just the reason that sometimes some notes are very important. We just don't really want it to be left to chance as to like losing it. So just pin the note. If you want to, uh, I would recommend making just like a default note thing that has this emoji and then set up like an H3 that's like quick or like notes divider and then this and then set as default. By having it set as untitled, it is convenient that you can like write the note out and it won't have the name. Uh, ever since Notion made that update so that it's always gonna have that, it is really annoying. So a hack to that is just really memorizing your your emojis and having it be untitled so that you can quickly like jot notes down in that way. 
uh, especially with the new updates to like how you can edit uh, database properties within list views without having to go into the page. That is really nice and easy to use. Now, what I kind of like is nestling this within here, which is kind of cute. Then I'm gonna duplicate this, type group notes, maybe do the writing compose again. And then once again, I'm gonna give it a little bit more room here. Okay, and then I can show this a little bit differently. So now we can group this into different ways. So like my recent meetings and notes, filter this to created time is this week or is within the past week. Uh, we can duplicate this after we get rid of this pin view to create a time as the example of when it was. And then we can duplicate this guy, do like all, all my notes, get rid of this time frame. And then if you want to categorize it, you can like uh, by type, then what you do is you'd group this by type. Or once again, if you want to add extra spacing, you totally drag this out. Just wanted to show you like an example. Uh, you can also group this by people and then you can pick participants. So then say, for example, I was a participant in this one, then it would show up like this. So it's kind of all in like what you want. Like you just like categorize stuff like that. Um, and then I also can recommend that you take this, my recent notes view, copy the link, go to your actions page, and then nestle this right in there like we talked about before. But then even more so, if you don't want to have it to be my recent, you could be like, um, created times within the past week, turn this into a group once again, or date is within the last past week, or you can just do date is today or date is yesterday. And then the same thing with like this one, uh, created time is today or is yesterday so that you don't have to deal with the whole like uh, week long of notes. You can just have like today's notes. And then now you really have a lot on your daily planner page. You really have like everything you'd probably need right here. So then going back to the meetings and desktop page, let's add a new view here. Select this template, remove that from there. And then let's make the number for the pin number like four probably, maybe five. So let's make this second brain later. Okay, so now we got a meetings and notes page. And you can see this thing is really coming together at this point. Projects, tasks, notes, second brain, all really nice stuff. Just like this video is really nice stuff on how to improve your productivity even more.